the neglect of duty and abuse of power. This is not funny, Mr. Secretary. Over the past year, I found that many members of Congress failed to grasp the Founders' true meaning regarding the constitutional writ of impeachment proceedings. Impeachment is not a criminal proceeding. It may include violations of written law, but it was never intended to be bound by specific criminal violations of statute. In many ways, impeachment proceedings are intended to be guided by principles of conduct that are far more deeply etched upon human history than any written law could ever be. The embezzlement of money by an employee is a criminal act and is a betrayal of trust, but betrayal of trust is not a statute. The House Committee on Homeland Security advanced articles of impeachment against Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. He has been impeached by the People's House. These articles do not impugn the Secretary's character nor list dissenting views on how to handle the crisis at our border. Instead, the impeachment articles against Secretary Mayorkas carry the charge of high crimes and misdemeanors. It's important that all Americans recognize the true meaning of high crimes and misdemeanors. While some of my colleagues have claimed that this charge is confined to specific violations of criminal statute, let us not fail to recognize the Founders' original intent and well-documented debate regarding the origin and meaning of this term. Article 2, Section 4 of our Constitution reads, the President, Vice President, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. <clears throat> Our founding fathers used this phrase, high crimes and misdemeanors, having 400 years of British Parliament historical precedent, which did not limit itself to direct criminal misconduct, but more importantly, encompassed a neglect of duty and abuse of power this is not funny, Mr. Secretary. Literally misdemeaning the office and high authority that had been entrusted, enshrining this phrase, this phrase in the Constitution. The Founding Fathers put explicit trust in Congress to determine what constitutes an impeachable offense and what is encompassed in high crimes and misdemeanors. Impeachment was never intended to be a criminal proceeding but instead a review by the American people of a rogue executive and a mechanism for accountability when all else has failed. Secretary Mayorkas has not only betrayed the trust of the American people, his service as secretary has left a scar on our nation's soul that may never be removed. The articles of impeachment brought against Secretary Mayorkas passed the House and have, have now been delivered this afternoon to the Senate. It is vital that the Senate upholds its constitutional obligation to hold a fair impeachment trial. The American people deserve accountability for the gross misconduct of the Secretary's handling of our borders. It is incumbent upon members of Congress to enforce the authority outlined by the Founding Fathers for impeachment. Under Secretary Mayorkas, America has suffered. Over 300,000 Americans have died from cartel drug poisoning. Our communities are crushed under the weight of 12 million illegal aliens in the span of three years, and crime has reached unprecedented levels within American communities across the country. Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas' arrogant disregard for the security and sanctity of the American people has brought Congress to this point. He has brought unspeakable pain upon the nation. His service as secretary will forever be shrouded in shameful failure and generational trauma. Alejandro Mayorkas has been impeached by the House. He must now be tried by the Senate and removed from office. Mr. Chairman, I yield.